Welcome to another tutorial by WebNewbie.com. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a pretty quick one. We're sitting here in Adobe Illustrator right now, and I'm just going to cover two things on the Adobe Illustrator uh, over on your Tools panel over here. Uh, the first thing we're going to cover is called the Selection Tool, just the normal Selection Tool. And then after that, we are going to cover the Direct Selection Tool. And over here, you're looking on the left-hand side over here, the black one is the Normal Selection Tool. The white one is the Direct Selection Tool. I'm going to show you what each one of those can do here in a minute. First thing we're going to do is uh, look on our um, uh, display here. And we've got a red uh, rectangle and a uh, bluish-purple uh, star here. And we're going to first click on this normal selection tool. What we can do with this normal selection tool is I can just click and drag over our shape here and it'll select the entire shape for us. I can click on the shape and move it around anywhere I want uh, on my uh, display here. I can grab like a corner edge here and I can change the size of it uh, any way I want. I can grab one of these uh, center edges here and move it up and down for the height and I can grab the side ones for the width just changing the shape of this. Now also if you want to push the shift key what that'll do is uh, constrain our proportions here so if I were to grab this this uh, corner um, anchor point over here if I were to move it any which way it's going to constrain its points and make it uh, the same constraints all the way around anywhere I move it unlike if I am not holding the shift key and I grab this I can just make it any shape I'd like uh, last thing but not least thing you can do with this uh, is for you to hover over one of the ends here like this until you get this shape uh, on your mouse. looks like a rotation shape and that's exactly what it is. If I were to click while I'm holding it like this, I can rotate this box now any which way I want. And uh, we'll do it again here just so you can see it again. And uh, that's what the uh, selection tool is good for. Uh, now we're going to go over to the direct selection tool, which is the white one right over here. I'll click on that and to give you a little example of this direct selection tool, I'm going to use this star over here that I've created. A direct selection tool is to, well, directly select an anchor point on an image. Uh, when I use the normal selection tool, it selected the entire object. Well, now we want to select just a single anchor point, which we can make it so I can do many different things. Uh, let's say the top of the star here, I don't think that this is uh, long enough for what I want this star to do. So I'm going to select the anchor point at the top of this star. Now if you look very closely, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but after you select an anchor point, it turns solid blue, while all the other anchor points are just little uh, blue um, squares here with a white center. I don't know if it's growing when I hover over here, so you can maybe see, um, if you can't see it, just know that they, you will be able to tell the difference when your anchor point is selected and when it's not selected. And then I've got the solid blue anchor point up top that I've selected. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm just going to move it up. And notice how it's only moving that single anchor point in the direction that I want it to move. Uh, if I were to select this one over here, I can just move this one anywhere I'd like it to go. Um, and the, the previous selection that I made did not move. Now let's say you want to select two different anchor points at the same time. Uh, you would hold the shift key again, click on one anchor point, then I'd click on the other anchor point that I want to select and then I can grab one of the anchor points and now if you can see it's moving both of those anchor points that I grabbed with my selection tool and that is the difference between the normal selection tool which selects an object uh, and you can do many different things with it or the direct selection tool where you select uh, strictly an anchor point on an image and move that around any which way you like uh, that concludes our quick tutorial on Illustrator selection tools. Uh, this is webnewbie.com. Go ahead and watch some more of our videos and learn a lot. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.